Hi, you guys. So I wanted to do a review on some items that I was sent over from Clinique. I'm really excited to try these out. I honestly haven't tried hardly anything out from Clinique. I've tried some skincare and I think that's about it. And I think back in the day, maybe a lipstick. But um, they have the new Clinique's Pop Artistry, which came out in February of this year. So when they've come out with um, pop lacquers, glazes, oils, and eyeshadows. So I have a few items here um, that I wanted to kind of talk to you about and show you what it looks like. Before I get into the colors and the, the makeup part, I wanted to talk to you first about um, this particular item that they did send over. This is the Pep Start Eye Cream. Um, so this is the box here and this is exactly what the item looks like. And how it is, um, you just pop off the little cap here and then it has like a little ball on the tip of it. And this little ball here, you pull the little ball off or out, and then you can squeeze the product out. And now this eye cream is supposed to help depuff um, your eyes. And then with time, um, you're supposed to have increased collagen, which is perfect, which is exactly what I need for, for me and my age and everything like that. And I can tell you, I've been using it for maybe about a week now. Um, there's no real scent to it or anything like that but um, I have woken up because I do have very long nights and I've woken up with very big puffy under eyes. And I said, well, let's see if it works. So when you put it on, it's not like a, a metal tip. It doesn't have a cooling feeling or anything like that. Um, it just kind of glides it around and you can just use it to massage it in. So I do do that, I massage it in and then I'll take my fingertips and just kind of pat it out. It does take a little bit of time to absorb and to dry. So um, that's one of the first things that I do when I wake up in the morning so that um, right after I wash my face. Um, and I have to say that I actually was impressed with the puffy eye thingy because I have woken up with some serious bags, waking up super late and having to run out the door within a half an hour. So, um, and if you've had those days, you know when you haven't slept enough and you need a lot more sleep, those bags are there to stay at least for a little while. So this seemed to help out a lot and hopefully over time as like what it says is that it's going to improve and increase the collagen in my skin so that'll help with the elasticity and um, filling in the fine lines. So um, I'm really good about taking care of my skin and using face creams and things like that so hopefully this is just going to be another addition and another plus. First, I just want to mention that all of the packaging that they have here, it's super cute, very spring-like. Um, I think it's very, very cute. So all of them look very similar. Um, you'll see different types of flowers on the front. You know, those will be the only differences, but they're pretty much all the same. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is what I have on the, my lips right now. And this is, um, it looks like a very bright, bold color. This is called... Um, Nectar Glow. It's in 02 Nectar Glow. So, and while this looks very bright and vibrant, and it is when you take it out, but once you put it on your lips, it just gives like a hint of color, just a nice flush of color. Um, the name of Pop Artistry for all of these things, when you look at all these products, which I'm going to show you, they all look very vibrant and bold in the packaging, but they are very subtle and just very spring like, in my opinion. Um, I was a little bit frightened of it, but I went ahead and used it. I also have it on my cheeks, just in case. You can see it's just a little flush of color. And it, it feels like when you put this on your, let's say, when you feel it, it kind of feels a little bit um, tacky and sticky and like you don't want to put that on your face. But I can tell you that it does dry out and it gives a little smoothness um, it's not very tacky. It's not tacky at all, actually. Um, and I think it looks nice. It does to give nice flush to the skin. And you can blend this out as much as you like, add more color, whatever it is that you'd like to do. Um, I thought that this was really, really nice. The next thing that I want to talk about are these little macaroon-shaped products. These, these are called the Sweet Pots Sugar Scrub. So one side is a sugar scrub and the other side is a lip balm. This particular one that I have here is in pink frambois. I think that's the name of a flower if I'm not mistaken. These come in seven shades. 
Uh, let's see, they have different shades like oranges, peaches, pinks, um, darker pinks, lighter pinks, um, and I. some of them have shimmers and some of them are just glosses. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like inside. So when you first get them and you open the scrub side, which is the more um, cloudier side um, of the container, it looks like it's just a lip balm, but once you get into it, you'll get all the sugary goodness out of it, and it's a great lip scrub. It doesn't really have any scent or anything like that, but it's a very nice lip scrub. Um, and the other side, right after you're done doing your lips, you can go ahead and moisturize with a lip balm. This lip balm doesn't have any color whatsoever. It's just, just a very nice lip balm, very soft, very moisturizing, and it, these are very cute. I love these. It's great to take on the go. Um, and especially great to take on vacation. And these retail for $19.50. It's kind of pricey, but Clinique in general, in my opinion, is kind of pricey. So if you like the little macaroon thing and you're into Clinique, and um, if you love them as a brand, I know people are diehard fans of Clinique. Um, I think this is a really nice item. Next I have these Clinique, um, these are the lip glazes. They look like they twist off and have like um, the little sticks on the inside, but they don't. These are the Pop Glaze um, Sheer Lip Colors, and it says color and primer. The darker shade is called the Licorice Pop, and the lighter shade is called Sugar Plum Pop. These are very creamy, very, very moisturizing, um, and they do stay for a long time, but they are just a very light flush of color to the lips. This one is the darker of the two. This is called Licorice Pop. Um, it's dark, but it's it's not very opaque, which makes it very nice. Um, and you can wear this every single day, which is nice as well. Because sometimes um, I can't really wear dark colors to work. So this is nice to have the darkness, but it's sheer at the same time. So I really like that one. All right, and this one is the lighter of the two. This is called Sugar Plum Pop. This is beautiful. I like that. And how they describe um, these shades, uh, it says, a pretty pop of bold yet see-through color in one coat. This luxurious yet weightless formula has a built-in primer that glides on effortlessly on lips, leaving a long wearing smooth finish while keeping lips comfortably moisturized instantly over time. Um, I have to agree with um, the way that it makes my lips feel. Um, that it is a bold color, but it's very sheer. It's really, really nice. It is a nice pop of color. It does have shea and muru muru butter. <laughs> Every time I say that, I just want to laugh at myself. I'm so sorry. I couldn't help myself. Okay, so, and that's going to help with the maintaining the moisturization of your lips. So with all these um, dry matte colors going on, you know, my lips have been kind of, you know, a little bit dry. So this is a very nice and comfortable switcheroo, um, which I am really, really enjoying. So it does also say that you can put like one color on the center of your lips and then put another color all over and that it'll give you like another, a nice little puckered kind of look. And this comes in six different shades. Next, I have three different shades of the Clinique Pop Lacquer. Um, this is lip color and a primer as well. So, and these are really nice. This one here is in Sugar Pop, and all the applicators on the, the three of these that I have here, these are all round, kind of um, egg-shaped, kind of, but they don't have a flat side. It's completely round all the way around, and it does go on easily. I thought initially that it would be a little bit difficult to go and cover my lips well, but it's not. It works out pretty well. This one is in the color Sugar Pop, and again, they're all kind of similar. This one has a lot thicker texture than the sheer lip color. Um, this one is the lacquer lip color. A luscious pop of liquid shine color in one full coverage coat with just one swipe of the applicator. Um, it immediately moisturizes and soothes lips while delivering intense color with a modern lacquered finish that wears up to six hours. And then this is the brightest one of everything. This is called Happy Pop, and I love this bright shade. I really do. I'm not into brights, but I have to say that I love this one. I really would have thought that I would have never wanted to wear this shade, but um, I really do like it. 
Um, and, and I can tell you that maybe the stickiness might bother you just a tad bit, of, but if you blot your lips on a napkin or a tissue, you'll be fine. All right, and the last thing that I have for you is an eyeshadow, and this is a lid pop. It says that it is in the color Willow Pop. Everything is pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I, th I think it's fun to say pop. Um, again, it comes in a package just like this, and this is kind of like a golden brown with a little bit of green inside. This is a very nice eyeshadow, um, but I can tell you that it too, just like the lip colors and the cheek color that they have, um, while it looks quite bold here in the swatch, when you apply it, it's very light. I do have it in the darkest part of my eye right now. Um, and it gives a very nice, it's dark, yet it's kind of sheer at the same time. It says a collection of nude to bold eyeshadows with a silky long wearing formula that, that delivers an instant pop of color for virtually powderless looks. Lip Pop is presented in eight vibrant shades. So it says it builds up and blends. Um, it does build up, but for me, as I build it up, maybe it's just this particular color, it kind of looks a little um, like dirty. Shadows, also I wanted to mention that they do blend very, very nicely. I don't know if I said that or not, but um, I find that when you apply them with your finger, to me, it's so much better than applying it with a brush. For some reason, when you apply it with a brush, you don't get much um, color payoff. But if you use your um, fingertips, it tends to show a lot, lot more. So. And these eyeshadows are $17. All the lippies are $18, and then the eyeshadow is $17. So all in all, what do I think about this line, this pop artistry line? I think they're beautiful. The packaging is just gorgeous. I mean, you're gonna get fingerprints all over the tops because that's just the nature of the design of how they did it. Um, but you just swipe them down. I just swipe them down on my shirt or my pants or whatever it is and take off my little smudge prints all over them. But um, I think they're beautiful. And while they do look, um, a lot of them look kind of similar when you put them on, there is a very subtle difference. And I think they're, they're very, very nice. Um, if you're interested in these pops of color, I would definitely go ahead and say, check one out, check the other. Would, which one would I say to get more than the other? The ones that are like um, the lipstick looking, the, the one that I have two of, these are like the lip glazes. These are just a very, like a lip balm with a, um, with a little bit of color to it. Um, or would I say to get the lip lacquers? I would say the lip lacquers, um, just because they are a little bit more bolder um, yet it's not too, too much. Again, the one that I'm wearing right now is the boldest one right here in the center. So you'll know that no matter which one you get, even if it's bright and bold, it's not gonna be too, too out of your comfort zone if you're like me and like um, little pops of color. So here are all the items that I was able to try out. Um, I really liked almost every single one of them. The only one that I was kind of on the fence about is the eyeshadow just because um, of the color that it was and as I built it up it kind of looked a little bit muddy and kind of kind of dirty but um, that is what I have on my eyes it does look nice I'm not saying that it doesn't look nice because it, it does look nice to me so that is it um, I'm so thankful that I was able to go ahead and try out these products from Clinique and share them with you for all the links to everything I'll have everything down below if you have any further questions go ahead and leave it in the comments down down below as well and I will get back to you as soon as I can and that's it thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another video bye